morning, happy Sunday to everyone who's watching. Today it's just me in the video. Georgie's actually upstairs having a line at the moment, the lazy thing. I'm gonna be showing you how to do my makeup routine. So this is the look that we're going for, and then we're gonna rewind and go from the beginning. Uh, my makeup routines, it's nothing special. I don't use really expensive products. It's more just to sort of show you how I do it, because I've had a few nice comments recently on some of our videos saying that you like my makeup. So I thought I'd show you today how it's done. Just to warn you, this video contains some funny faces and some weird patterns on my face, so you've been warned. So let's get started. Firstly, I need a fresh face. That's better. Nice and close up now. I'm a bit too close up, sorry. The foundation I'm going to use is Rimmel London Stay Matte Foundation. It's fairly cheap, it's like five quid or something. I've used so many expensive foundations. I've used MAC, I've used Chanel, I've used NARS, and I find that you're paying a lot of money for pretty much the same thing, so I think you can save a lot of money just by getting something a bit more basic like this. Just gonna put it in different sections around my face. This isn't the best, most glamorous part of it all, I can assure you that. Right, so now I'm using my, it looks dirty, it's just foundation, I promise, uh, my beauty blender here, just to blend it all in. Make sure you blend it onto your neck as well, because the worst thing is to look like it like cuts off, and it's like orange and white, we don't want that. Okay, so hopefully I'm now all one colour. I'm now just taking some matte powder and just working it all around my face. My brushes are real technique. Look, my brushes are real tech. I can't say it. Real techniques brushes. I've broken this one. I don't know how I did that. My thumb just went through it one day. Really soft brushes and it just gives really good coverage. Right, the next part's my favourite part, it's time to contour. So I use two things in contouring. I start off using this, which is a Wonder Stick by NYX, NYX. I don't know how you say it. Um, it's so good. You've got one end that does sort of the darker contour and another that does like, the highlighting. So you can literally just draw in your face with this. It's so easy to use. Quite fun to do as well. So I'm following my cheekbone down, then up into your eye all the way around it's like drawing a picture this it's not like a makeup routine it's like a it's like an art lesson it's mad and i'm doing the same on the other side lovely i'm gonna go down my nose with this as well so i'm gonna use a slightly pointier end draw a line each side of my nose like that. So now I'm going to take the uh, lighter end and work across my cheekbone here. This is going to work as a bit of a highlighter. Like making sort of little flower in my head. And down my brow bones. Which gives the illusion that you've got more arch brows once I've done my eyebrows a bit later on. And on my cupid's bow just here. This makes, when you do your lipstick, it makes your lips more... What's the word? Bold, big, no, like voluptuous. And then the last bit just down the centre of the nose. So make sure you don't go onto each side. You're just literally drawing a line down the middle. Like so. So I'm going to take my beauty blender again and work across my whole face. More sort of instead of like a wiping motion, because that's just going to get rid of it. And more sort of dabbing. Now with the nose, you've got to be careful not to blend the two colours together too much. You still want to be able to see sort of the defined areas of colour. Obviously the consistency of this one's more like concealer, so your face is a bit more sort of wet. So the next part, I'm going to sort of follow my traces again, but using powder. So using a sleek bronzer here, I love sleek products. Following it down like that. And I'm taking my medium sized one and doing circular motions just to blend it all in. The fish is back out. I'm now going to do my eyebrows. I'm using, God, I like Rimmel London, don't I? This one here, it's got a little brush on the end so you can like style your eyebrows and then just draw it on with a pencil. I need to sharpen it quickly, hang on. So. I'm literally starting off by with the top arch here, bringing it down and then I'm going to fill in the rest. Okay, 
Okay, so you can see my actual eyebrow is quite different to my daily eyebrow. So now I'm going to use my Naked palette. I've got the Naked 2 palette. Here it is, my baby. My favourite one, as you can probably see by the big dip in it, it's half baked, this like goldy one here. I'm going to start off by using that. When I do my eye makeup, I generally try to have a darker colour on the outside and a lighter colour on the inside. So we're going to take this one in the middle. And again, just dab it round the eyelid. And then that up around here. Oh, I've forgotten to use my sellotape. Hang on. Genuinely, this is going on my face. Why is it so hard to find the end of the sellotape? Okay, what I do is I take a small bit of sellotape and literally put it across your eye and then this here, it makes a sort of line for where your eyeshadow can go up to so when you peel it off, you've got a dead straight line. Very odd. Okay, where was I? So I'm gonna take the darker one I can now literally just do this because I know that it's just going to go onto the, uh, the sellotape. Okay, just like that. Booty call. This one here. Little lighter one. And I'm going to use that on the inside of my eye. And that gives the illusion of having sort of bigger eyes. Okay, you ready? Ta da! So you see there, it's now. A much easier way of getting a straight line on your eyeshadow and then you can just follow it along with the eyeliner in a little bit. Make sure the angle sort of where your eye follows up and meets the bottom of your eyebrow. So we're taking the lighter one again, dabbing on the inside of your eye. So you've sort of got a blended colour so it goes light, medium, dark. And we're going to peel it off again. Ow, 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 ow. It's like pulling a plaster off your eye. Oh, there we go. Now it's time for eyeliner. And I use Collection 2000 Fast Work Eyeliner. I think it's like £2.50. It's so, so good. I've used this probably since I was about 12 years old and I stand by it. My wings or my eyeliner vary each day. Sometimes I want a really bold, dramatic look, sometimes more subtle. So generally I don't really know what it's going to be like until I do it. So we're going to see what happens today. Oh, and also I can't talk while I'm doing this, I'm afraid. Everyone's got their eyeliner face, I think this is mine. <laughs> what do I look like? <laughs> okay, I think we've gone for a medium wing today. Now the hardest part with doing makeup, I think, is making one eye look the same as the other eye. So I'm going to give it my best shot. Now everyone says to put it in your waterline, but I find that little gross bit there. I find if I do that, it just comes off by about like half an hour later. So I go slightly underneath that on your actual skin. So with my mascara, I actually use two mascaras. One's like a little fibre thing, it makes your lashes actually longer. And then I go over the top with an actual black mascara. Then now time for the mad blinking. Ah, oh, that went in my eye. Ah. Okay. Now I'm just using another black one now. So that's mascara done, that's my eyes finished. Um, now I just need to do my lips, so I like to do that last. This finishes the whole look off. I'm using MAC lipstick today, which is um, Velvet Teddy, and I love it. I've just ordered a new one, so I'm in a little bit low here. Got a bargain, 10% off in the Black Friday sale. There we are, and then just across there, and across there. I don't know I'm trying to talk while doing this. Ara ha ha. Filling in the gaps, basically. And 
and there we have it that is my daily makeup routine next video george will be back unfortunately i'm joking i've really enjoyed making this video today and i hope you've enjoyed it as well if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching bye